Hey there guys, um, just a quick up dread update because uh, I've got dinner cooking downstairs so I have a nice pizza in a minute. Um, yeah, so as you can see I've just got out of the shower, my, head's all, my hair's all wrapped up, take it out. Yeah, the dreads are as fresh as they can be right now. So, thought I'd just give you a quick update. They're all doing pretty good so far. They're all, not a lot's changed, but I think they're a lot better than before. I think they've sort of stopped being a bit gay like they were for a little while. I've got all my Congos, so I'll start with them. I've got this one at the back here. see it there, them two they're still going together, Just probably they haven't really done it a lot since last time and I've got that one at the front a bit further forward somewhere, them two, they're doing, this one's doing really good, I had a bit of a mistake the other day though when I was ripping my dreads, I accidentally ripped these two apart but it seems to have yeah Congo back pretty quick which is good so it's just that little bit at the end to go now and then that that'll be together. Um, if you remember ages ago there was that little one at the front that I had hanging down. I've sort of forgotten about it and it's completely congoed into that one now so there it is in there and that's good because it keeps it out of my face that was a bit annoying in the face but yes yeah, so that's all good. Um, all the same beads stuff uh, on my turquoise one I've added an extra wrap in the middle, just sort of put a little bit of thread around it. So I've got the turquoise thread at the end, and this turquoise thread like halfway down, like a little cuff sort of collar thing on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, for the little ones, the ones that I did the um, tip blunting on, they're still all right. They're still, I haven't touched them since. They're still dreaded. That side, and if I can find it, there is one on this side. There it is. So yeah, they're both, both still good. Completely dreaded still. Mm, uh, no loose hairs coming out of it. So they're completely fine, really. So I'm happy about that. Um, I'll give you a quick sort of like show around them because. I caught a glimpse in the mirror the other day from behind and I thought they looked pretty sick, so. The wrap is still in there. Still wrapped around that one. I decided to leave that bit of thread on it because I thought it looked quite cool sort of dangling down. I could even sort of you know, put something on that bit, so or I could tie it back up or whatever. So thought I'd just leave it for the minute anyway, and see how I feel about doing stuff with it. Whatever happens, really. So um, yeah, that's about it, really. Um, ah, one more thing. Um, at the back, I've got a good tip on how to start Congos if. You've got two, or th it's probably best with three. If you've got three, if you've got three thin dreads that you want to congo together, but you don't know how to sort of get them to do it without them doing it naturally, sort of thing. Um, a thing that I did for mine with this big fat one here and this big fat one here was you get the three dreadlocks, the three little ones and you just clap them together, literally just clap them and put a little band at the top or you can just leave them I've got this one at the back here because I've got three little dreads at the back that I kind of wanted to dread together they weren't going to go by themselves so I've done it myself and you see here, there's three of them sort of a big fat one there, a longer one with a bead on the end and this really little one and they were both, they were, I mean, all, all three of them were kind of a bit scraggly and stuff so I plaited them together and the whole base about that far of the base has completely locked itself up so 
that's going good as well. It's a good tip. So if you want more than one dread sort of condo back together, then I recommend doing that. It's a good idea. Um, nothing else to really comment on. Nothing else has really changed. I'm still separating them every couple of days. Mostly sort of like um, the day that I washed them, but before I washed them, so yeah. So they've sort of had two or three days to lock up, tighten up, and um, sort of they start congregating together. But then just before you wash them, you just rip them all apart, literally do like the entire head or whatever, and then when you wash them, they'll stay completely all loose, like loads from just completely loose, they'll stay like that for like a day or two, then they'll start trying to lock up again, then you just rip them again and wash them again, so it's a vicious cycle really, but it's what you've got to deal with when you've got dreadlocks. Um, yeah, I think that's it really guys, so I'm going to go have my pizza. Go away. Go away.